Did you know that as your harvester gets more wear and tear on it and the damage starts going up, your yield actually starts going down? But when does that happen? How's it going, everybody? Driver53 here, and today we are going to take a look at what happens whenever you start getting too much damage on your harvester and when you should repair that harvester. Now, it doesn't need to be done like every 5% or anything like that. It takes a little bit to happen. And today, we're going to find out exactly where that point is at. So what I've got here is an awesome Colossus Harvester right here by Chris S. and Riley S. I've got a field of barley right here because barley is the highest yielding crop that you can use with a regular header right there. As you can see, the yield bonus is at 100%. This thing is ready to go. So what we're going to do is go ahead and hop into our harvester right here. I'm going to go ahead and turn the bad boy on. And we are going to go ahead and start harvesting. Now, this is an unreal speed. So I'm going to I'm going to be going kind of fast. But the the goal here is to see exactly how much yield I get because this harvester is at 100 percent of everything. My damage is zero zero percent damage on the harvester itself so i'm going to go ahead and finish up this entire field and then i'm going to come back and give you guys exactly how much yield that is i got the entire field done and as you can see we got thirty-five thousand and eighty-four liters so that is going to be our baseline right now that we are going to use for all of the other testing that we're going to do and you might be wondering, well, how long is it going to take you to actually do this test? Well, it's actually quite simple using easy dev here on the PC. So all I'm going to have to do is reset my game save, start back over with everything fresh. And then I'm going to go into the easy dev here, hitting F12. And I go down to my vehicle right here. And then I can come down here to damage the condition, right? So I can set this anywhere that I want to on a 10% increment. So I'm going to start off whenever I come back, we'll do 10%. I'll set it again, 20%, 30, 40, 50. I'll keep going until I see that there's a, a trend that I'm seeing in the drop-off in the yield because I know it's going to happen. It has to happen. I know it's a, it's a thing that happens here in Farming Simulator 22. So once I get to a point where I feel that, hey, okay, this is showing a trend that we definitely need to pay attention to, I'm going to stop the testing and I'll come back and I'll report to you guys exactly where that's at. All right, everybody, we got done here with the last test that I'm going to do. And I got all the way down to 50% on the harvester. Let me go ahead and show you here on this. You can see right here, the Lizard Colossus 900 CR edition. This is the one that I'm using right now. It's at 50%. The Draper is still at 100%. And here is the yield, 31,046 liters. So we did have quite the drop off. And if you guys know me, I've got a spreadsheet for you. Here it is. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the whole thing all at once. I tested every 10% from 0% all the way up to 50% damage. And as you can see on the first run, we had 35,084 liters. At 10% damage, once again, 35,084 liters. 20% damage, 35,080 liters. So, I mean, just a four liters. I don't know what happened. It, sometimes you get off just that little bit. And the same thing happened here on 30% damage, 35,083. I was only off by one liter that time. I wouldn't consider either of those a loss. Just sometimes, you know, I, I may not have hit a edge of a field exactly the same way or going back and catching some of the, the little uh, bit, bits that I missed on the first pass. It kind of happens like that. Now, the bigger one that I'm seeing right here is your 40% damage. You only got 33,084 liters. That right there is the tipping point for me. Anything after 30% is when you're going to start having a loss in your yield because the harvester is breaking down and it's not processing it properly. And then to back that up, at 50%, you have 31,046 liters. And I'm going to go and show you this other chart right here where you can see a lot better visual of what is exactly happening. You can see from zero all the way through 30, the yield is pretty level here. And then it starts to just nosedive right there at 40 and 50%. And it's consistent. So if you wait, if you wait all the way, you know, to 100% damage before you fix your harvester, you are going to be losing so much yield. So I don't see any need to repair your harvester before 30% unless you just want to get on a good maintenance cycle. Like you, you know, the end of the year, it's time to fix everything totally. But do not let your harvester get beyond 30% damage or you're going to start lo leaving crop out in the field and losing money.
That's going to be it for today, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up if you would. If you want to stay up to date on my future testing videos here on the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell too. And while you're waiting on those future videos, go ahead and check out one of these two right here. Have a great day, night, evening, everybody. Until next time, this is Driver53, signing off.